We now turn to the news at six here. Right now, the cleanup has just begun after heavy hitting storms slammed our entire area. As you remember, we were inundated with rain and extremely strong winds, which snapped trees in half. Some even saw some trees completely uprooted. Seeing some videos and images here of the hardest hit areas. Yeah, the strong winds took down power lines, putting tens of thousands in the dark, and some are still that way. And unfortunately, a lot of people are still waiting for the power to come on, right? Duke Energy reporting some folks might not get the lights back until 1130 tonight. So the Weather Service investigators are also on the ground here today, confirming one tornado touched down. It was an EF zero and it happened in Huntersville. Yeah, there is a chance that more could be confirmed too as they look to continue their investigation of the damage. We've got team coverage here of the impacts. Our Kaylin Hagwood is in Mooresville. That's where we received a ton of video from you at home. We saw tree limbs knocked down, drivers trying to navigate the flooding. Kaylin is hearing from neighbors who remain in the dark. Some residents tell me they've been living on generators since Monday night, and you can just see the reasons why. Get a look at this. Trees lying on power lines, and it's not just Mooresville feeling the effects. Across the Carolinas, cleanup underway after powerful storms left trails of destruction. I haven't seen anything like it. It's it's really outside of the ordinary. Monster Tree Service joins those on the ground helping homeowners rebuild. This morning we were in Huntersville uh, and then another job in Cornelius and then now in Mooresville. Rex Perkins and his wife live in Mooresville and say they had to take shelter at the center of the house when a storm moved in. Noise like a train coming through. Now they join their neighbors on Hideaway Lane working to recover after strong wind and rain left power poles snapped, fences caved and homes damaged. A couple of the neighbors have trees on their homes and some of their neighbors can't even get out of their homes yet or out of their driveways. From Mooresville to Conover, where our crews captured more down trees and power lines, Eric Gentry says a tree fell on his home. There was a lot of power. Yes, power would be the key word, <laughs> and it can do a lot. And we knew when we saw the wind, anything loose was coming down. I mean, it just was that. It's, it was, there was hands down, something's going to happen. Still, homeowners are finding ways to come together despite the challenge. All the neighbors got together and, and did a saw party and lifted the trees and got them off to the side the best they could. And while we did see some Duke Energy crews here, residents tell me they're not expecting to see power restored until at least tomorrow evening. Reporting in Mooresville, Caitlin Hagwood, WCNC Charlotte.